Short-handed, but ready to go is Miami. Our officiating crew assigned to work. Tonight's ninth game of the season would be Bill Kennedy, Kevin Cutler, and Brandon Schwab. John, tonight the Heat are going to try to control the game with defense. Not easy to do against a team that's averaging 122 points a game. Yeah, this team really will get out and run. One of the fast-breaking teams in the league. Very young and athletic. He's going to have to pick their spots. It'll start on the offensive end, being able to get a quality shot with defensive balance. Good at it, too. Just under four offensive rebounds a game. Capella with his ability to follow up different misses, get to the key areas. Bam, knocking in the baseline pop. Nearly 40% from out there. They got a real balanced attack, E, with eight different players averaging double figures. And DeJounte Murray, great complimentary player with Trey Young in that back row. Well, Hawkins Jr. made a nice baseline cut. Bam out of bio working against Clint Capella. Single coverage. And nothing but a green light and an open bucket for Bam, who's hit his first two shots. This is Jalen Johnson, young man out of Duke, who's emerging this year. And another strong box out by Bam that cleared the way for Hawkes Jr. Nice pass, Robinson in transition. The Hawkes Jr. creating it, and Robinson finished. This is DeAndre Hunter. Veteran out of Virginia will fire a three and miss it. Well, the Hawks missing three of their first four from downtown. Lowry pushing tempo. Robinson cashing in. And it's the Heat that's turned on the running game to an early 10-5 lead. He's really stepped it up. He averaged just about 4.5 points a game a year ago, so over 10 points a game improvement. He's been able to rebound the ball. Really, a uh, game seems to be slowing down for him where he can uh, see the opportunities to take advantage. Bam, dotted line jumper over Capella, and he knocks it in. Bam out of bio has taken some degree of difficulty shots tonight. University of Virginia, off to a decent start. Average 15 a game last year. He's a point under that so far this year. Heat ahead by three. Back to Bam Lopez. This will be the featured part of the Heat offense without Tyler and Butler. And... Bam Adebayo doing the heavy lifting, making his first four shots to open the game. A really nice defensive start for the Heat. The Hawks have missed 10 of their first 14 shots. Hawkins Jr. working on Bogdanovich off the spin. The bank shot. That young man plays with bravado. Rookie four points, two or four from the field, couple of assists. Haywood Highsmith with a steal and slam, and Miami pouring it on. Head coach Quinn Snyder in his first full season as Atlanta's head coach. Will place Nate McMillan in February of last season. And his imprint is on this Hawks team. Kevin Love hits the jump hook. You know, Love hadn't played in a while, not since the October 30th game. Josh Richardson in the game for the first time tonight. Was on the injury report tonight with back spasms. Was listed as problem. Love pitching out. Hawkins Jr. sending it up. And Highsmith brings it down. Lowry for three. Kaboom. That is just great offensive rebounding again. Miami. Well, he right now hard pushing tempo without committing turnovers. They don't have a single first quarter turnover. Lowry. Kaboom. Back to back. Triples for Kyle Lowry, who is number 13 on the NBA's all-time three-point shooting list. Blink, but the Heat have opened up a 17-point lead. That's a nice-looking hanging runner by DeJounte Murray. Here comes Richardson. And the Heat have found a recipe to run on Atlanta. Wow. I mean, just absolute nice shot-making with a 25-year-old out of Wynwood, Pennsylvania, DeAndre Hunter. Love for three. That's good. Kevin Love into the ball game, but a lightning start for shorthanded Miami here at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta, where the Heat have made 14 of their first 19 shots at 74% shooting to build a 33 to 18. Lead. Drew Smith in the backcourt with Kyle Lowry, Bam, Love, and Richardson round out the group with two and a half left here in the first quarter. A brilliant beginning for Miami. Richardson got a three. Josh Richardson, who has really struggled to make three for Atlanta. It's 41 to 27. The question is, can Miami continue the torrid shooting? They shot 68% with only one first quarter turnover. Hawkins Jr. for three. Kaboom! A oh, great jab step that sent Bogdanovich sprawling. Seven points for Hawkins Jr. His sixth triple this year. Young fella. This is a tougher shot when you pick up the ball and you have to kind of get, catch yourself and gather yourself there. But boy, what a great initial move. The early moments of the second quarter with his effort has two points, two assists, and a rebound. 
Need ahead by 13. Miami's been up by as many as 18. Hawkins Jr. against Jalen Johnson. High off glass and down. Boy, the poise of a veteran for this very mature rookie Taken by Richardson. Here's Robinson. Need ahead by 15. Couple minutes into the second quarter. Bam back in his low post workshop. Oh, the Hakeem shake and turnaround. Bam out of bio. Despite having all their personnel out there, Miami uh, having a short, bit short handed. Oh, window wipe by Bam out of bio. A gorgeous block with a heat up by 15. Down the other end, a perfect bounce pass for a Drew Smith score. Five minutes into the second quarter, the heat ahead by 17. Bam, oh, the great up fake. Another one. Bam out of bio, six of seven from the field right now. On the drive, it's Bay. Deflection, a steal by Highsmith. Racing with only Trey Young and missing it off the glass for Bam. Well, Bam out of bio. Everything that man touches, turning the gold. Is his 10th year in the league, first six with the Rockets. These last four years with the Hawks. Eat ahead by 19. Highsmith finds a wide open Drew Smith. Hawks are 8 of 8 at the strike. Miami ahead by 13. Two and a half left in the second quarter. Hawkins Drew back in the lineup with Bam. This is the Heat starting group tonight without Butler and Hero. Hawkins knocks it down. Miami Hawkins Jr. Found an open team. I agree. He made the right play there. That's his fifth assist. Hawkins Jr., a wide open three. Got it! As the first half comes to a close, Hawkins Jr. with the best half of his NBA career, a 14-point first half. It's already the highest scoring game of his first NBA season.